hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding our main menu all right for the main menu i have used this asset which is by the name of easy main menu free all right so make sure that you go ahead and open up the unity asset store and add this to your asset then simply click on open in unity then open unity editor it's gonna open up the package manager just simply download this and then click on import and when you click on import right here click on import again once it is imported in the game right here click on scene this is our main menu scene as you can see right here all right what we're gonna do now is from this we're gonna take this main menu scene and add this inside the scenes folder when you do that then move this easy main menu to inside this game folder that is it then you can double click on this main menu and it will open this up now we will be changing things in this all right so first of all we need to change the background image for the background image we have the background image right here so i'm gonna select this background image and drag and drop this in there all right and as you can see it is not fitting perfectly so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna move my game window to the next screen and then resize it and when i do that now i can see how much i can resize this so if i move it right down below right here and then right here all right that is it now if i show you here it is as you can see it perfectly matches the screen size now we need to remove these other things as well and also we need to flip this image so we can select the background image again and right here just tick this flip x and it will move it to that side and now as you can see it looks good all right then open up the main menu canvas then from here what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this fps so you can either delete it or you can disable it then after this we need to remove this assault of doom so if you open up the main screen panel right here remove this logo as well and now here is our main menu now if we play the game here it is let's click on options from the options we need to remove this graphics we just need the game and controls and inside this game we just need this brightness because I will be showing you how you can control brightness of your game and in the controls I'm gonna show you how you can control your mouse X and Y sensitivity alright I'm gonna show you this as well so let's first of all remove these three not the three but just the graphics option so What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up this all option panel and then click on scene view actually first of all and then if you click on this options and open it up and actually you can also enable it and double cl uh, click on it to zoom on it. Alright, this is the option then we have the game, control, graphic. We need to remove this graphic from here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna disable it and if you want you can add your graphic options as well but i'm gonna simply remove it but actually before removing it or disabling it let me move the pack button right here on top of this so that they perfectly match like this all right then after that select the graphic button and disable it now once we have these three buttons now let's disable the options and click on this all options open it up and now from this game and when you enable it we need to delete this hud contrast music and sound 
we just need the brightness so move the brightness right here for example and the back button will be in the same place all right and in the controls we can leave this as it is and we already removed the graphics button so we don't need to do anything with this then we have the load which we will not be messing with it so we're gonna leave that as it is as well we have the level select as well we're gonna leave that as it is open up the uh, main screen panel in which we have the start options and quit button so you can leave this as it is but uh, okay open all option panel and right here enable this underscore start game options and from here you can just leave the new game button and remove the continue game button because we don't have any option to continue the story okay because we just have one mission but if you are adding a saving system and also adding different missions then you can add the continue button and continue the game wherever the player left all right once you remove all of these options you can then go ahead and play the game again here it is let's click on options game okay in game we have just the brightness now and in the controls we have mouse x and mouse y if you go back click on start we have the new game button right here and whenever we click on it we're gonna open up uh, our game scene all right once the main menu is right here now in the next video what we're gonna do we're gonna make this main menu workable so see you guys in the next one